what you give me. I barely did. We did. But we? you here? We here. Yes, I'm we here. here. But we still the baddest bitches. That don't change anything, honey. Speak for right. yourself, baby. What was the bad bitch? I am the bitch. Oh! Mm -hmm. Y'all ready for this uh, finale? Y'all better make me proud. Don't make me go on stage and start jumping before me. So, <laughs> tell us, tell us, the viewers, how has your life changed? I definitely love the experience traveling the world. Mm -hmm. And you know, you get to start tasting new meats and seeing new things and stuff. Oh, I lost my man after the show though. Because of the show. Well, that's perfect timing, because now you can really taste. Yeah! Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> my life has also changed yes. because to get on the show, I wanted to give my grandmother a better life than, well, not a better life, because she has a great life, but I wanted her to see the world. And we're going to London tomorrow night. So glad that I can, you know, kidnap my, my 82 year old grandmama and say, you leaving Mississippi and you're not cooking fried chicken or cornbread today. Well, you're girl. going to eat with the queen. Aww, well, girl, I don't fun. know if Grady gonna want that fish though. But she's gonna have to bring her own seasoned salt. Yeah, yeah, bring seasoned salt. <laughs> so, I know everyone wants to know. We're gonna set the record straight. How did we end up, how did the Dream Girls come about? See, the thing about it is, the Dream Girls was never a gimmick to have something for TV. Right. We're just three different girls who had a natural bond and became great friends on the show. Wait a minute, hold on. We just kiki. Three girls of color. That's important to know. So. You know, it was never a thing of us being the Dream Girls because if you watch the season, we never said Dream Girls, Dream Girls. Right. Like, that was never a thing until the Eliminated Queens came back and were, they brought it up. The Dream Girls is just actually three hoes who, who right. kick it and we bond real well and we help each other out. But yeah. in addition to that, I must say, I am Effie White. In this case, Effie Black. Well, I want to be Curtis. Curtis was supposed to love me. So listen. And I'm not being shady or stirring the pot. This time? No, bitch, never. <laughs> no, you was but, really keeping it real. But who out of all the girls on our season changed the most from your first impression of them? From the first episode, mm -hmm. Miss Soju has changed. Mama and does, she, I, it's no tea. Mama she does has been on look her day. good. Her makeup and she stuff has better. looked nice. In a short time, so come on, Miss Soju. You better go over there with your socks and show shoe. I think Honey, for me, like getting to know Honey, I was just like, who's this girl always buzzing around? And then she went home, I think way too soon, way before her time. Mm -hmm. And then like to get to know, Honey is one of the hardest working queens of our season. And not to say like she wasn't hard working beforehand, she just left so soon we didn't get the opportunity to see like her true ethics. Akira, who do you believe, you know, has changed throughout this experience? A lot of S's for Silky with her lips. Right, girl. Just after this experience. Um, I would have to say Evie, probably. When I first saw Evie, when she came in the work room, mm -hmm. spooky dookie tea. I was like, well, girl, her come in a mission, meaning her time is gonna be short. <laughs> right. But Evie's aesthetic is very, very unique. And she has actually like She's grown on me. Too. Yeah, she's grown on me. Like her aesthetic has grown on me. She actually opened up uh my views on the different types of drag, mm -hmm. um, all of that. So like, I would have to say Evie. Yeah. That's very true. Because Mama's it. drag, it, it, it's, it's not my cup of tea. Well, it wouldn't work. I'm not gonna say it's not my cup of tea because that'll mean I don't like it. I would say it's not something that will work for me, but yeah, she owns what she her. does. Mm -hmm. And like, she does it well. We get the list and you, you're like, okay, I'm gonna wear this for this. I said, you really took it to the whole left field. Uh, her, interpretation, yeah. her interpretation of drag is completely different, but right. she has mastered what she what does she do. well. Yeah, she's really good. I agree with that. She Shout out to Evie. Ooh. And together we are the, the Black Magic. Black Magic. The well, Black I mean, it happened. It just didn't work out as planned. The other team, Nina and Brooklyn. And Wait. Sugar. Sugar was there, yes. That goes to Sugar I'm just playing, I'm playing. Don't put that in there, because they really going in for her. I don't, I don't know why. Don't put that Whoa! in there. Oh! Africa there, bibbidi bada, da 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 This interview is the Black Magic all over again. Oh, yeah. So, 
What was the biggest challenge for y'all this season? For me personally, it was trying to fix and edit everything that they were giving to me so at a quick time. Cause like with the outfits and stuff, they were telling me about this, but bitch, they don't, they're, they're like, oh, go grab some fabric wall. Yeah. There wasn't no fabric that matched. You see what Silky did? She would got some fabric, fabric wall at the right. lip sync. So unfortunately- I don't know I, both times. Cause the red, the, uh, Santa Claus, sure Mrs. Claus too. So unfortunately I didn't get- Stay away from that wall. I didn't realize Season what 12. I packed. I didn't pack, you know, correctly. So it was trying to fix the critiques at a quick, you know, overnight bitch. I think my biggest struggle was me, to be honest, because like, I think it was like just from how I was grown up, I came out very, very hard and very, very strong, but I was really going through things. I just didn't want the, the world to see it, but for me not really talking about it and dealing with it, you saw the worst of it. Like my pad showing that sh episode, Drag Race was very like hard for me and I gained 30 pounds filming. And it was a reason, I really did. I gained 30 pounds and my pants did not fit me. Like they should have fit me anymore. So at what point did you realize when you were taking all the craft services and putting in your station that the 30 pounds was gonna do something? Shut up, bitch. Ain't nobody told that bitch to eat. I was the only one. Uh, my pants fit. Yeah. <laughs> I think the biggest challenge for me was actually going outside of myself and what Akira was as a drag queen. What you were comfortable with? Or what yeah, you, what, you know, my strong. comfort zone in drag, you know, the things that I felt like I was strong in or, mm -hmm. you know, at least okay in, I lost challenges in. And I think the one thing that I hate the most, which is dancing, I won. So, like, stuff like that plays with my head because I'm an overthinker already. I'm a Pisces. Mm -hmm. So, like, it made me question myself and who I was as a curator and as an entertainer. So we all been there. We all had to lip sync, some more than others. What do you think? How was it? Isn't it scary? You better say yes, cause they seem you to. You show sure better, sis. It's not. It's, it's scary. I wouldn't say it was. It was scary. What was going through your head? That's what I want to know. The, the day I, I, I lip sync, I felt so defeated and beat up all day. And like in my head, I'm just gonna be honest, in my mind I was just like, it's gonna be me and Evie. But it, when the moment they said it was me and Nina, that's when I kind of just broke down, like everything kind of fell for me. Why? And I was like, I'm being eliminated tonight. So you, in your mind, you made a whole story up in your whole head sure in that did. five few seconds. I, I was just like, I'm wow. going home tonight. And I was like, no, I was like, I'm going you should home. write books. Yeah, cause you love to tell fairy tales. Bitch, lip syncing is scary, ain't it? Absolutely. Were you scared when you had to lip sync? I was. I kind of self-sabotaged myself. Like, I kind of rolled in defeat instead of like trying to swim out of it. I drowned in it instead of trying to swim up and get my head above water. But through the grace of God, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I'm sure it was scary for you though, because like the whole season you was, I'm ready. And then you got out there and you was like. I was like, oh my goodness. But that's the crazy part about it. Cause some songs you really be ready for. Mm -hmm. And no scrubs, no shade. It's not a song that anybody's ready for. No shade. It's so much you could do to it. Well, but you, what, you, what, what, my so you think when you lip sync, they gonna give you a song that they, you gonna Shoot. do good? Bitch, that's the name of the game, open. Mary. They don't give a they need to start they throwing a box A, box B, and be like, which box? That's part of the competition. I know you think Nina the was sitting there like, oh, I perform this every Thursday? Yeah. No, I, bitch. I know, but it, that's a part of the self-sabotage, and I self-sabotage. No, you already seen it. It's 10 seasons in. You know, they, nine times Ooh. out of 10, it's not going to be a song you like. Oh, no. Boo-boo. That's very true, because I didn't know any of the songs. So, so don't say we don't that get that our friends together. together. We get our friends together, too. We do. We be honest with each other, and I'm grateful for it, because if it weren't for them being honest with me, Afterwards, I would have been really, really gone. Like the next episode, I would have been out that piece because you I was. Episode two? No. Oh, I'm sad. In the quick. You did the next episode. Right. Next episode. That was the final episode five. eleven. The final uh -huh. five. Like, I, if I would have, if y'all didn't talk me off the ledge, I would have went into the next episode with that same defeat, mm -hmm. and I, I probably wouldn't have gone farther or made it. I mean, that lip syncing is scary anytime, at any time, because you, you're in front of Michelle, you're in front of the judges, like, and then, and with my experiences, you know, the first time I had to lip sync, I was in like a full gown, so I mean, and a headdress, so I'm thinking to myself, these girls got leotards, like, and at that moment, you you either agree with, with you being in the bottom or you don't, but eat, regardless of the fact, it's like, you have to do what you have to do, and then my second time I lip sync was even more emotional for me because 
it was against someone that I actually have a relationship with. Yeah. So it was like, but at that moment, you have to do what you have to do. So right when the song clicks, yeah, it's talk. like when you're that, yeah, yeah. You yeah, get four clicks click by the four click. If you if you not snapped out of it, your last click is gonna be out the door. <laughs> Okay. Very, very true. And so. then you just never know also with those eliminations, you never know what you might have on, on the runway. I done had on, I done lipstick in a gown and I done lipstick in a pencil skirt. So I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, girl. I lipstick. But you um, also think about it. Some people lipstick oozing while they oozing. I don't recall lip syncing once. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first one, yeah. The, I mean, the, it's the name of the game. But I mean, I was I was scared shook the oh. first time. I was scared because um, it's the first time lip syncing since last time, which wasn't cute. And I was lip syncing against Plastique, who you know was doing great in the competition. Everyone kind of you know was looking at her as competition. So I was like. You know. The second time was sugar, and I was scared then too. But I was just a little bit more frustrated, a little bit more emotional, so it was, you know. But yeah, I mean, after you just have to do what you need to do. It's nerve wracking. Especially at that time, because, and then after at the end, you still don't know. Because you don't know what the other girl's doing, so. Yeah, bitch, it's scary. It's scary. With all that said and done, uh, honey, it is what it is. Y'all made it to the end, and y'all have. You have another opportunity to lip sync and, and uh, turn the party. Turn the party, and you have the opportunity to take the crown home as well. Both of y'all actually have the same opportunity. So, yes, y'all made it. How do y'all feel? I mean, I feel good. I'm, I'm actually, um, my nerves have started getting to me a little bit, but that's because, like I said, I'm an overthinker. But at the end of the day, I never try to overtalk myself, overhype myself for a situation. I was always told never count your eggs before they hatch. And mm -hmm. you just never know what tomorrow might be giving. That so. For the hedge, huh? Yes, I'm very country. <laughs> so, you know, however it's gonna go tomorrow, it's how it's gonna go. Don't you wear like a badge of honor, like, bitch, I made it to the final four. Oh, yeah, uh, most definitely. That's why I, you know what, honestly, I would love to win, but, you know, if the cards don't fall in my favor, I'm happy because I proved to myself and I proved to a lot of other people that I still could do what I thought out to do. That's all right. So, I'm, I feel good. I think for me, um, one of the things that my gay family had taught me growing up in the pageant, you represent yourself very well. Winning is the bonus. Like you, you, you have won. You have to realize that represent yourself your absolute best. So like for me, my focus is making sure that I look absolutely stunning, that I elevate my wardrobe to what I wanted it to be, that I couldn't afford to have it at that time, and that I do a redemption for lip syncing. And you know, if, so you excited? I'm very, very, very excited to show the world the Silky and her new aesthetic. So, we all made it through to the five. Mm -hmm. As um, the dream girl. Mm -hmm. You know what, I'm happy we made it to the end. That's bragging yeah, right like, itself. Like, the three of us made it. The rest of them had to watch their good Judy's leave. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, JK, 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 they're Uncle Judy's too. Hey, squirrel friend, when one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.